Keeping track of dimensional changes can be um, difficult at times. Um, we've got this model here that's been updated. You can see the grey border, which indicates the um, views need updating. So when we go and update that, if you have your dimension tracker on, you'll see that it will list all of the um, changes that you see in here. So you can see what it's changed from and to. Um, unfortunately, that this only holds the um, last um, update views information. So how do we keep track of that? Well, I've developed a macro that um, you can run and it just goes in and it will create a um, table on a new sheet. Uh, it utilizes the um, table with a title of dimension changes. And basically what it does is it goes through and pulls out that information from the um, dimension tracker and stores it in here. So then when you go off, make further changes, run the macro again, it will add in the extra columns for any other um, additional changes that take place. So um, you can keep a constant record of um, things that are changing on your drawings and um, use that. Once you've um, finished, you don't necessarily have to keep it on this sheet. You can just then sort of right mouse click and go into properties. And um, on the um, location tab, you can you can specify how you want it positioned and um, on what page, so you can sort of reposition it and re um, move it onto a different page. And it will then pick up um, from there wherever you um, want it to be.